Hello guys, this is my first Minecraft video ever, and I wanted to start out by giving you some interesting factoids about me. The first interesting factoid is that I don't actually talk like this, this is my real voice, and uh, to be honest, the first interesting factoid is that in my first video I'm going to show you my first world ever. That is a lot of firsts. So, 91711, that's what, like, no, no, not November, I, I'm an idiot, uh, sorry. It's like September, yeah? September 17th of 2011. I started Minecraft probably in June or May or something of 2011. And I first, before I found out mods existed, I found out about inventory edit. So I had an out-of-game inventory edit. And I thought that that was so cool. I, like, gave myself diamond blocks and stuff. And then I loaded up Minecraft and I made a new world and I made like a house out of diamond blocks and gold blocks and I was like dude do you know how long it would take to mine all this diamond it would take like years and it was the ugliest house ever let me tell you that <clears throat> so I guess I ended my minecraft thing in or my first world ever in this mob spawner uh, at least yeah so let's go down this is probably the most recent addition right here it's a giant auditorium, a half sphere. No, it's probably more like a third of a sphere. I I guess I don't know. It took forever to make. I still have to make all of the walls smooth stone. I want to make these stairs like those stairs, but when I made it, I don't know why that's there. When I made it, these blocks didn't exist yet in the game. This is the center of the room. Um, over here we have kind of a room branching off of it, my original plan was to make a whole bunch of rooms branching off of it and I want to show you the rest of my world let's see do I have a yes I have do I have a single player command installed on this no I don't okay um so I won't show you my first house it's this really really ugly thing with a giant branch mine in the basement with a tree farm outside of it crap okay so this is really hard to get out of um, but you have to stand on this ladder's hitbox, which is really hard because the water pushes you. So you have to, like, fight back just the right amount. So now I'm standing. Then you jump and then press towards this. Cra no! Crap. Oh, I, I, I had it. I had it, too. Okay. All right, we got it this time, guys. We got this. I'm sorry. This is probably making the video really boring. There we go. Okay. So I have... This chest is almost full. And this is... Remember, this is before zombies dropped rotten flesh. These chests are full of just stuff that I haven't used. This chest just has some crap in it. Um, I'm going to show you this house. Really, that's it. Hopefully, you guys will get an idea of uh, my old Minecraft abilities. Or, I don't know, just what I like in a house. Uh, this is a really cool house, by the way. It's got this indoor pool. It's really small, but it's really cool. Actually, no. If you include this cave system, it's the biggest house you've ever seen. Um, this is my bed got this this is just some chests I have a block here and a block there which prevent me from opening the chest because if I don't do that spiders can come in no one likes spiders that's all my valuables is food random crap this is my farm down below it is a cactus farm my mob spawner is really big and I have a lot of mushrooms because I thought mob spawners oh no I don't have oh 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 maybe this isn't my most recent save of this world but in I remember I put a whole lot of mushrooms down in it. Uh, this is just a branch mine. I put a whole bunch of mushrooms into my mob trap. And they spawn like crazy. And there were just mushrooms all over the place. So many mushrooms, like 20 stacks when I finally got rid of them. And the reason I got rid of them wasn't because I wanted a 20 stacks of mushrooms. Because that was just a pain to get. And I'm never going to use that many mushrooms. Especially because I don't play this world anymore. Um... But the reason is that when you have mushrooms in your mob farm, your mob farm doesn't work. No, it, it doesn't doesn't work at all. So I got rid of those. It took quite a while, but my mob spawner is huge. Got me so many items. I did idle there a really long time. This is a cave system that I connected to my house. It used to be like to the outdoors, but I closed it off and tried to make it look natural because I didn't want people... You know, because on my single-player world, I didn't want people finding my cave. I, I don't know what I was thinking. I just, maybe I thought it would just be cool to hide it. 
and then I made the cave entrance a little nicer to the eyes so uh, as you can see I didn't really make the top nicer but I made this like more square flatter and everything and then here this is natural like this area here is natural so when I came into this cave I'm like oh my gosh this cave is tiny like I came to it from the outside but then I was like wait there's this here so I went down it and that that way I think is kinda small but this over here is gigantic I placed these wooden blocks along the way to help me figure out how to escape um, oh and then yeah you can go around here it's just huge um, I don't know I found two dungeons attached to it most of my resources are from the walls of this cave it's just insane insane I'll show you guys uh, where's the, uh, the I hate this part of it oh here it is this is why I love the idea of placing wooden blocks there because now I can find the stairs because it's like such a small area right um, so I'll kind of show you guys how I concealed it you can tell me if I did a good job or not I did already make one of these videos but something was going on with my mic and that just messed up the video really badly made it like really bad and painful to watch and listen to um and maybe I I don't know let me keep digging I came to dig 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 build a city up so big sorry um so yeah I concealed it like that I guess pretty good looking right yeah I agree with you let's uh, close this back up um so yeah I made a video like this of this world and I hated it because of the sound so right now I'm gonna check to make sure that the sound is normal on this one uh, so give me a second alright guys I'm back <clears throat> I actually restarted my computer in that like half of a second and I also realized why did I tell you guys like wait because you're not gonna have to wait because uh, I just with the magic of video editing and the video splicing and all that fun stuff you guys don't have to wait at all so um, yeah I restarted my computer and I plugged my mic into a new port hopefully that'll work anyway I hope you guys like this cool concealed cave over there oh you can see the top of it we have my landmark which has actually saved me from getting lost yeah I know that's amazing like a landmark actually working crap how it's supposed to cool stuff oh oh I made it what a what a ninja boss sheep no that sheep's more of a boss how did he get up there he's ninja sheep there we go that's that's where you belong mister sheep so this is actually the path that I carved into the mountain to get up but anyway this is my landmark and I'm gonna end the video with me jumping down it and yeah I'm gonna be starting a let's play for my next set of videos maybe I'll do some mod reviews sometime maybe I'll do some challenges I don't know uh, it's really up to you guys also by the way if I get uh, enough subscribers and like people like my videos then I will buy the full version of bandy camps to get rid of this thing see I'm looking at it I'm looking right at it and it says www.bandycam.com and it's probably annoying you guys and um, yeah so I'll buy the full thing and that will hopefully make my videos better also if I get a lot of subscribers right I'm gonna get a new computer so that I can record at full graphics full frames per second full everything so cool so yeah before I jump down I just wanna say thank you for watching if you liked the video please subscribe oh my gosh we're in a cloud okay we, we have to treasure this moment because in the new minecraft you can't be in clouds no no you can't oh unless he's thinking about uh, making the world higher so if he does that you'll be able to be in clouds again but um, if you like the video please click the like button you know and you know maybe you can subscribe if you want it's up to you guys but uh, if you have any recommendations for me any comments any criticisms please comment them um, yeah, so here we go. This is so much fun. It's probably not as fun to watch as it is to do, but oh my gosh. Uh, uh,